Hello sim racers and welcome to a new video by me Jason for Pit Lane Sim Racing. Today I am jumping back in one of my favourite sim titles at the moment, Race Room Racing Experience. And surprise surprise, I'm in my favourite car of the moment, the classic Porsche Carrera Cup car, the 964 that was uh, released by uh, Sector 3 Studios for Race Room couple of months ago now I can't stop racing it what I haven't had a chance to do is race this car at Bathurst uh, another favorite piece of content of mine so we're gonna do a just a short race just 11 minutes long so four minutes a lap we're not gonna get a lot of laps in but I don't think I can survive a lot of laps here so we're gonna hit the grid minutes and we're going to give it a go just for a bit of fun and see what happens right I'm ready I'm ready of course we've got uh, crew chief running in the background giving us a little bit of spatial awareness because I'm not running in VR today Nice and steady uh, turn one. Ooh. It's a drag, it's a drag, it's a drag. I am running the adaptive AI settings. They think I'm obviously better than what I actually really am. Because <laughs> I'm going backwards already. Oh, cheeky little nudge there from the rear end. Oh, what a ton of understeer. The AI are working me over here. I think it's a good job I've decided to do a short race here. Whoa, the back end went light there. Man, I'm getting a ton of uh, understeer here with cold tyres. Maybe I should have had a look at the tyre pressures, I forgot, being this is one of the new cars out. We can now fiddle with the tyre pressures. Whoa, getting a bit crossed up under braking. Ah, oh, missed the apex, touched the wall. That'll take her out, don't worry about that. Even though my driving hasn't improved, hopefully the uh, sound quality has. Got a completely new XLR mic setup with its own dedicated amp, which should give me a lot cleaner and clearer. Voice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was going to run out of room there. Let's run him out a little bit. It also allows me to run the in-game audio a little louder. So it should all sound a lot better. That's another reason why I've chosen a shortish race. Race, even. Because I just wanted to see what it would all come out like. I don't think though I can avoid the uh, clunking of my fanatic shifter, being it's an all metal construction and it does have a fairly hefty clunk to it when in H pattern. And you can't drive one of these unless you're going to use a proper H pattern. Man, the back end is lively on this thing. Okay. Oh, getting a lot of understeer here. I really should have had a little look at the setup. Oh, the AI in front have had a wobble. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Oh. Right. Let's just get through this little section. Can I get a just lean on him a little bit? Right, now we've got a bit of straight. I am currently uh, trying out some new uh, force feedback settings on my wheel. I have a Sim Experience AccuForce direct drive wheel and I've turned off the gain force feedback and I'm using the AccuForce Foundation force feedback setting. Couldn't talk for a moment there. Which is using the out telemetry output, I believe, from the sim title directly and converting that into the force feedback. I have to say, without any previous fiddling, testing, or any changes to the setup, I am really liking the smooth clean signal that it's uh, sending to the wheel the understeer is a, is a lot easier to detect using foundation rather than gain force feedback would like a little bit more of a tactile feedback from the curbing but I'm assuming that that is a point of turning something on or up within the Sim Commander 4 software, but I don't have eight hours at this present moment in time to dive to dive deep into that. I'll slowly but surely try some different settings as I go along, but I'm liking the initial response that the wheel's giving me to what the car is doing. It's communicating the understeer and oversteer really well. Oh, oh! Ay, 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 ay! AI having a moment there. Too much curve there. Front was bouncing about. Tuck it in on the power. And another chance for a quick breather. Please let me know in the comments so what you think of the new uh, microphone and sound settings. Any hints, any tips would be really appreciated. Also, On the brakes! Some bad gear shifts there. Uh, if you run an Aki Force wheel, let me know. Do you use the game force feedback settings? Do you use the foundation settings? Do you use. Oh, sorry. Do you use Sim Commander software at all? Do you just. Uh, fire the game up and. Uh, tweak the. Uh, the in-game settings and use the force feedback that way get in the comment section let me know any links to any you know groups sites videos covering the uh, Aki force settings in the race room would be really appreciated. Oh, AI hey, hey. tackling each other there. Ah, oh. and I've wasted the opportunity to gain on them by going wide. Tuck it in over the little crest there. Car goes light. Oh, 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 no, 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 not in the wall. This car feels alive. Oh, oh. I thought 
thought I'd lost it then. There's not much in the way you can tweak setup wise on this car, which is just as well as I know sod all about setups, but I think a bit of work possibly with the tyre pressures or anti-roll bars might be handy because it's a little bit wallowy get a lot of uh, bounce coming off the kerbs there which I'm finding it hard to keep the car <laughs> pointing in the right direction oh, not on the brakes, no I've left it too late I've missed the gears I'm giving away places here. He's off. We're going to have that one back. Right, last lap. Oh, crikey, I'm not getting the blipping right there. We're giving our clutch a hard time during this race, but... There is so much to take in. The car, the track, the AI not giving me a moment's breather. Well, we started six. Looks like we're going to come home in the top ten. Nice to come top five, but there we go. This was always more of a test video, really, just to check out the foundation, initial foundation settings for my wheel, and uh, how the new mic's going to work. Oh, <laughs> this car is brilliant. If you haven't bought it, get it. It is one of the most smile inducing cars you'll ever come across in a sim racing title. Okay, down the main straight again. Try and pick my uh, braking point. Right, I think I'm holding on to the gear too long as well. Mate boy behind is going for a run on me. I'm going to block him, block him, block him. He's touched the back end, he's nudged my back end. Oh, I'm so trying to blip the throttle. My focus was 100% then on trying to maintain a straight line and get it slowed down for the corner. And we're coming around the final corner, and we're home in ninth. Yes. Oh. Well, I certainly enjoyed that little small sprint race. I'm going to uh, go back now start tweaking the foundation force feedback settings sim commander 4 I'd like a little bit more curb feel and I'd like a like the wood to be a little bit tighter around the center point but I'm sure one of the myriad of dials and buttons in sim commander 4 will uh, tune that out a treat for me I hope the new uh, audio setup has finally finally cured a lot of the problems that I've had with earlier videos and uh, as always let me know what you think of my driving the video sim experience like a calf wheel sound settings XLR mics anything any help any advice any tips I'm always up for learning something new 
and uh, hopefully it won't be too long before I see you out on the track. In the meantime, race hard, race fair.